Hello, my name is BJ Walker with AVB Total Flow. This is a training video for a plunger lift application for a basic startup. We'll begin by connecting to a device with PCCU, then moving into the application list and what exactly we mean by apparatus registers. We'll begin by connecting to a G4 meter. Here on my desktop I have a PCCU icon and I'm going to connect Ethernet to a G4 meter. If I do a right click on my icon and go to properties, I have my target line here that's pointing to wherever my PCCU32.exe file resides, followed by a space, TCP, colon, and then the IP address of my G4 meter. I hit apply and then say OK. Now I can double left click on this icon it should take me right to the local connect screen. If I then click on entry setup this will take me into entry mode. Now, entry mode is where we do all the configuration of the meter and where you can view what your meter has in the directory tree over on the left. If we go to the application tab we'll see applications that are turned on within the meter here. You'll also notice that there's an app number slot. This is basically a home address or a physical location within the software that, this, that the application resides. So for example, system would be under zero. My IO interface would be under application seven. And my AGA measurement tube would be under 11. If I want to turn on plunger control, I come down here to the Add App button at the bottom of the screen, and then I select Plunger Control, say OK, and then you'll notice it added it to application number 121. I'll send those changes down to the device, and now I've added Plunger Control to my configuration in the meter. And now you can see that it showed up on the directory tree on the left for me to work with. Now this, is, this configuration has a three well pad setup. So I want my wells, individual wells, to have like applications within a like grouping. So all my well one applications I want to be grouped together. My plunger control here is gonna be in well grouping one. So as you can see, I have well one for AGA3 measurement and I'm going to have well one for plunger control. So the syntax has to be exactly the same and then they will show up on the tree on the left. So the next time that I come into entry mode my well grouping will have my measurement and my plunger control grouped per well. Now the application list is important because it's the physical address or values within the system. So that first number in the app, array register, is the app slot that the value resides in, followed by the middle number in array, followed by the last number, which is a register. So plunger is turned on in 121. And so if I wanted to know what my valve state was, as I put my mouse over the top of this state, you'll see that the valve state is 121.1.25. So that would be the app array register for that particular value. And that comes into play as we go through and, and set up I.O. for plunger lift. Remember we said that I.O. interface was an application 7. So as you can see, my raw AIs for this meter is in 7.4.3 for AI1. AI2, 7.4.4, the physical location within the software of where that I.O. is. The DI's, if I want to know where my pulse input is, 7.0.100. DO's, 7.2.4, this is just the raw level for I.O. on the board that we will tie in to a plunger lift application. 
As we move down into Plunger, we'll see a Plunger summary screen here. This is just a dashboard, an overview of what the Plunger controls are doing. So as we look in here, we have a current state of what the Plunger logic is in. We have timers and time limits. We have a tune factor that we'll get into later. We have the three main controls for Plunger Lift, which is disable, manual, and enable. We have a reset. We have what the current valve state is here. And then we also have the ability in manual mode to force open a valve or to force close a valve manually within the software. Now we'll have to tie in the I.O. here like we'll do in a minute, but just giving you an overview of the summary. Below this is the six states, and you can kind of see what's going on here at any particular time as long as down the bottom left you either manually click reread or you check the monitor button. And just to the right of monitor you can do a right click and it brings up another menu where you can select the interval at which you want to refresh the page. And now that'll be an automatic refresh at an interval of your desire or manually click clicking reread as you want the page to update. One word of caution, as you're going through a setup screens in PCCU, if you've checked the monitor button and you have an interval of something like one second, the page may update and refresh before you get your settings entered into the device and are able to send those changes down to the meter. So if you're going, going to enter settings, make sure that you uncheck monitor and then you won't run into that problem.